Well hello and welcome to another video from the Computer Techie and today we have a overview video of the Dell Parage 2950 9th generation server, second alliteration um, so let's get started at the front there as normal we have the front bezel with the keyhole on the left hand side and they come with the keys attached if they're new and then uh, we'll start with the front I.O. first so we have the power on button the um, indicator LED which is the button which is this one here and our front uh, display there two USB 2 ports and a VGA port for connecting your screen, mouse and keyboard to the front of the server and in this model we have the 2.5 drives so we can have a total of eight 2.5 drives and then if you get the extension module which goes in there you can have another two 2.5 drives um, you can get 2.5 drives up to a terabyte now but these ones are the 73 gig um, SAS hard drives so you can see they're ever so slightly different because they have a um, little thing there that splits up the SATA connector or it doesn't actually but you can put normal SATA hard drives in these and then the other version that you can get come with the 3.5 drives as well same type of caddies like this so they are the front hot swap drives you may find in some servers like this one you get the just the blanking for the servers don't have any drives fitted in those slots you just get blank um, hard drive bays we have a DVD ROM and a floppy and then going around to the side there you can see we have the nuts for the um, rails and then moving over to the back IO we have the port for DRAC which is this one, the Dell Remote Access Card a serial port VGA port two USB 2 ports two gigabit ports on the back um, a plug for something which I'll explain in a minute uh, the front uh, the, the rear indicator LED and indicator button our two hot swappable power supplies and then our back PCI slots there so well of course you also, you also get a handle which is very useful for lugging these things about so we'll get the top off and have a look inside the server so you have like a little pulley thing on these ones We'll start from the start, at the front. Alright, so the first thing we come to is the RAID card. Um, this one is the Perk 5i. Um, we have the, the RAID RAM, the processor, and this is connected via a um, PCIe riser card which goes along the top there and onto the motherboard. And then we have our um, SASA or SAS connectors here which attach the back the um, hard drive back planes so you can see there they are the SAS connectors and then we also have the backup battery here for when power goes completely to the server it, you don't lose your RAID configuration uh, extra Molex connector and then we also have the SCSI cable here so this I think is 80 pin SCSI and that's for our DVD drive which comes all the way around to the back the uh, riser card here and then we have our uh, hot swap fans so anything in orange on Dell servers 
means they can be hot swapped while the server is on. So they just pull out like that. And then you can slot them back in. And then anything in blue on Dell servers can only be attached or removed when the server is off. Like that RAID card there. So let's move forward. So the two U ones actually have a slightly better um, airflow configuration on these um, compared to the one U one. We have this here, which comes up, and you can see we have like a rubber thing there, and then these plastic bits which push up depending on if you've got RAM in there or not so that helps with the airflow we can see our CPU coolers there sitting right next to those fans and the uh, RAM installed there with the heat sinks on um, some of the RAM you get does or doesn't come with heat sinks just depends on what you get and then moving over to the back here we have uh, a PCIe riser card so that's a times eight that one and then we have our Delmo access card and then on this one here we have the two extra PCI slots on the riser card so in this particular model I've put in a four gig um, fiber channel card and a two port gig NIC there and then Back on the motherboard over this side, we have that SAS connector for our DVD drive. This is the back plane, which goes, or the riser card, which goes for our um, RAID card there, as well as the power for our um, hard drive back planes and any other devices, and then the TOW 2 key. And that is round about it actually we have our hot swappable power supplies which are locked by this orange thing here and they have their own individual fans and um, the fans spin up if you if there's only power to one power supply and you've got two power supplies installed um, the, uh, the fan on the power supply that hasn't got a power cable will be running um, keeps it nice and cool I think that's about it there isn't really much else to say um, oh yeah we also have two other SATA connectors here we have SATA A and SATA B on the back of the motherboard here and that's about it in the third version of the um, ninth generation servers you actually get USB ports on the uh, motherboard for USBs and things so that's about it well no it's not actually we have um, when you're racking these these come with um, cable management arms like this which attach the rails and then you'll also get this cable um, I've showed this in the other video, but if you haven't seen the 1950 overview, then you don't know what this is. These are uh, an LED extension cable for our back indicator light, and they plug into that plug down there that I showed you earlier. So when you've got these um, sitting behind the servers like this you can't see the LED indicator when you press it so what you do is you attach um, this LED to here and that's it so we'll power it up in a second okay then so power on I'm gonna go and hold a button on the top of the server 
so that it thinks that the lid is closed otherwise it will power up to full fan speed straight away but uh, basically there is just a little thing there which which you push down um, which tells the server whether it's actually got a lid on it or not because um, of course when you take the lid off what happens is when you're in hot environments the, the airflow gets disturbed so all the fans power up so that it keeps enough airflow through the server so it doesn't overheat so that's what happens when you take the uh, the lid off so we're going to go ahead and power this up um, I'm going to go and just we'll show you the, the um, LEDs there as well so you can see what that's like and uh, get a good noise comparison so let's go Okay, so whenever there's an issue, or has been an issue, for example I've changed RAM or something, you'll get full fan speed until it's checked itself. And you can see our LED indicator lights have gone blue, and we're actually currently on full fan speed at the moment, so that's what it sounds like. And you'll hear it slowly ramping down. If we go around to the other side, you can see the front LED indicator. And then when I press that informa um, indicator button, it will start flashing. So the idea being that when you have a large bank of these in a rack, you can identify the one that you want. So when you come around to the back, you will see a flashing blue light on both LEDs. So we're not down to uh, the lowest fan speed at the moment. It's slowly going down. So when you're in a fairly uh, warm environment, at about 20 odd degrees, 25-ish, this is about the normal fan speed, um, it does go lower. And of course when it's really, really hot, uh, the fan speed generally is about as high as when we started off. So if, you, if I take this hard drive off of the uh, button here, you'll hear it ramp up again. There we go. Okay then, so that is it for this video. Um, hope you enjoyed that, and if you've got any questions or anything, then uh, leave them below in the comments. Of course, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.